Congratulations on your new cabinets. This is the really fun part of a project, when you get to choose the finishing touches to really make it your own. The last things you're going to need to finish up your cabinets before loading them up are the perfect cabinet knobs and pulls. Oh, the choices. Do you put all knobs? Do you put a combination of knobs and pulls? What about just pulls? What is the right answer? Honestly, the right answer is to choose the hardware that best fits your style and needs. We might be able to help you narrow things down. Let's start with the basics. Many people choose knobs for cabinet doors and pulls for drawers. This works, it looks fine, but could you take it one step further for a truly you look? Cabinet pulls come in a lot of styles, but also a lot of lengths. By choosing lengths of pulls that fit the cabinet drawer or door, you can really transform the look of the room. Okay, so how do you know what lengths you need? Remember, there really is no wrong answer. However, we suggest using a relative scale approach to make your decisions. What is relative scale? Basically, doors and drawers tend to look best when the pool is about one-third the length of the door or drawer. Let us show you what we mean. Let's go back to pools that are all the same length. Where to start? Let's look at the pantry first. Pantry doors are usually pretty tall. A knob will open the doors, but a pull could be more comfortable in your hand, especially on the lower door. And these small pulls look all right. But what if we change to a longer pull that is sized more appropriately to the tall door? That looks better. So staying high, what about the upper wall cabinets? These are pretty tall also. What would they look like with longer pulls? Those cabinets look like they're even taller now could really add height to a room that has lower ceilings. There are some short doors above appliances. Those look good with either a knob or a shorter pull. Now for the lower or the base cabinets. There are some cabinet doors and some drawers to think about. The cabinet doors that are below a drawer tend to be shorter than the upper cabinets, so we can try a pull that is a medium length. Well, that one door doesn't have a drawer above it. Maybe it needs a pull that is just a little bit longer. Yes, that's better. Okay, so now to the drawers. Oh wow, those wide drawers make those pulls look tiny. You could use two shorter pulls on each drawer to balance it out. Or you could use one longer pull on the wider drawers, especially if they are deeper. That's more like it. Let's see what it looks like for the rest of the drawers when the pull length is chosen to fit best with the drawer width. Wow, what a difference. So here is a kitchen where we used relative scale when choosing hardware. Doing this really makes a big difference. The kitchen has longer lines, making it feel bigger and balanced. Remember, when you're choosing pulls for your cabinets, taller cabinets use longer pulls. Shorter cabinets use shorter pulls. Wider drawers use longer pulls. Smaller drawers use shorter pulls. Hardware Resources flagship brands Jeffrey Alexander and Elements both offer a variety of styles and finishes of cabinet knobs and pulls to choose from. For those final touches in your kitchen, bathroom, or closet, pull lengths range from 3 inches to over 12 inches, and many looks also have matching appliance handles for your paneled appliances. If you like the pulls we used in this video, they are from Jeffrey Alexander's Roman collection. We hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.